What's up, everybody? So today is November 15th. It's 3.53. Um, I logged into Club WPT, and they're giving away a golden ticket, a Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory golden ticket for poker. So this isn't for chocolate. This is for poker, baby. So whoever gets this lucky golden ticket, they get a chance to win, to be a millionaire, pretty much. And I know this is every poker player's dream. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to crush them because I'm taking that golden ticket because I need it. Because I want it, baby. And let's get it. All right. So the first hand of the day, um, first hand of this tournament, I had six jack offsuit. Um, but two jacks hit on the flop. And then it looked like a flush completed on the turn. Um, and then the turn, the guy, uh, the guy, the small blind bet all kinds. And I was almost thinking about folding, but I called it. It was like 400 something. And so that's how I got up to 6,175 in the first hand. Um, but as you can see, the guy to my right is the one who on the previous hand had bet a lot. And it looks like he's going to get all this cash back. Oh, wow. Never mind. Looks like he's done. And that's how it goes sometimes in these tournaments. Ouch. And I'm trying to outlast. And this playing field is 1,057 so far. And you know, I really need this tournament. I really want it. And I do believe uh, I'm better than most of these people, you know, and I'm trying to prove it today. Uh, I'm trying to earn my golden ticket. And and I'm trying to do the impossible, you know, trying to make zero from zero to a million. And it's not going to be easy, but I do believe I can do it. So watch out for that. And let's get it. So on this next hand, I find myself on the button with Queen 10 offsuit. And small blind, big blind is 50 and 100. Um, there's only one caller besides the big blind, so I go ahead and make a standard raise. I decide on a bet of 325, and I do get two callers. The flop comes two jack seven with two diamonds, and it gets checked around to me, so I figure I'll just do a continuation bet, but like a small one because I'm not trying to risk too much. And lucky enough, they both fold, so I take another one down. Cowboys, cowboys, cowboys. <clears throat> Dang, that guy snap called. Shove it, come on, shove it. There it is, baby. Ah, nice. No spades. Oh, he took one of my kings. Ooh. I wouldn't have liked to see that ace for sure. That would have been a bad ace. Definitely, if that other guy would have called it, I probably would have slowed down. Nice, 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 nice. So I'm under the gun plus two, I think it is. And I'm looking at a seven king suited. It's only 150 to call. Um, I do have chips, but... There's still three, four people, five people behind left to act. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just three people with left to act. There's still five people with action. And I only have king high, you know, with the seven kicker, even if it is suited. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold this one. It folds around to the button, and the button makes a big raise. Um, the guy in the small blind who was short stack, he calls. He was all in. Um, big blind calls, and under the gun calls. And under the gun plus two calls. So it would have been a big pot. <laughs> uh, as you can see, my analogy is way off. And I flopped two pair. So with that being said, I think somebody has three of a kind. And an open-ended straight flush draw or something like that. You know, who knows? But I think I made it the right fold. It gets checked around. And last person to act makes a big bet. If a 7 doesn't hit, I won't be that embarrassed. There it is. He has three tens. I have a feeling that's what he has. Queen 10, 2, 8. Wah, wah, wah. That sucked. My analogy was way off. Did you see that? That was kind of a hate move. Damn it. I should have just called it. Now I don't even want to play this. 
So after about losing about a thousand in blinds um, and cooling off a little bit, I decided to play King Nine offsuit, and I hit a king on the board. But uh, look at the situation I got myself into for limping in. I have to call it once. I need a king or a nine. King or nine. Oh, two pair. Damn. What? He slows down. He slows down. What? Should I apply max pressure? I think I could slow down too at this point, right? Damn it. King or nine. King or nine. Shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. At this point, I have a bluff catcher. Um, if he has king jack, ace, king queen, ace king, I think he would have raised it pre flop. Um, my only thought maybe he has that three. I hope he doesn't have that three. Hope he doesn't have that three. Have a king. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's fake. I don't know what happened there. So after making the mistake of limping in with King-9, I ended up just calling this and I didn't realize that till after. I think I was still, you know, shocked from the King-3 hand that beat me. But I do flop an Ace and it's not a good Ace kicker. It also looks like a possible straight draw, maybe two pairs. Um, there's still Ace-10, Ace-Queen, Ace-King. So I decided to just make a min raise to see where I'm really at. I oh, got one caller. And a queen hits, so I'm thinking if he has king jack, king 10, king 9, um, anything of that nature, you know, like, I gotta be careful. And, you know, I don't know, for some reason I felt like the 10 was gonna hit, but I wanted to push at this point. Um, but I ended up just making a weak raise, a $500 raise, and he does make the call, and then the 10 does end up hitting. So, I was like, like... I put him on a king, you know, like, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Uh, so I made the mistake of checking it to him. And he goes all in. Like a fucking player. I just can't hate on this move, you know. I showed him weakness and, like, maybe he did have the king, you know. But I can't make this call. Uh, I ended up making a fold. And at this point, I feel a little bit defeated already. So I'm probably going to ship it on the next ace. And it's actually what happens on the next hand. I get ace three. I'm on the big blind. Everybody limps in. And I shove. Um, the only problem is I got snap called by the guy to my left. And I'm not feeling good about it. Come on, ace. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Baby, I'm ahead. Ace three. Ace three. Ace three. Ace three. Ace three. Oh, come on. Well, that's that. I guess no golden ticket for me. I bet you the golden ticket just made the chocolate taste horrible. So after the tournament, I ended up blogging onto clubspoker.com. And I had $10. I think I had 9 something or $10. But um, I did uh, hit this win. And then I realized I wasn't recording. So that kind of sucked. But um, I was trying to see if I could run it up again on these slots. And like I said before, you know, you can't really rely too much on slots. But... Um, I did a g give a couple of these slots a good try, a good couple spins, and there were a, there was a couple good couple wins. But um, let's be real, you know, I'm a poker player at heart, and you know it's what I like to do. You know, I don't like to gamble. You know, I like to play. I like to play poker. You know, I like to be competitive. I like to win. So with that being said, I registered to this tournament, seventy dollar guaranteed with for two dollars and twenty cents, and it leaves me with about three dollars and fifty cents. And that's all I got in my account. But I'm going to try to run it up. You know, this is free money now. Um, thanks, clubpoker.com for everything. You know, the promotion was cool. The extra 20 really helped. And I'm loving this website so far, you know. So without further ado, let's get into some poker. So I'm in the cutoff. And with the under the gun plus one went all in. Um, I called it after under the gun plus one called it. We ended up checking it down. And it turns out that under the gun plus one went all in with jack three. So he hits two pairs and triples up. On this next hand, I'm under the gun plus one. I pick up keep 10 off suit. And I just do the smooth call. 
Flop comes two, queen four with two hearts, and I do a continuation bet. I do get two callers, so it's not good. Um, a third heart hits, though. We all check, and I completely miss. And what do you know? He had a queen, I guess. On this next hand, I find myself with ace queen under the gun plus one, and I ship it on them. They both snap fold, and I take down a pot. Next, I get ace king on the small blind, and as you can see, there's tension on the table already. People are throwing, uh, I guess you could say they're throwing shit at each other, and it's not looking nice. They're what? Whoa, it's getting aggressive. But as you can see, since it's getting aggressive, I'm just going to go ahead and shove it. And lucky I did because I take down another pot. Alright, so there's only 19 people left. And they paid top 6. And I'm currently in 3rd place. So hopefully I'm able to stay in 3rd place so I can make the money. Um, it'd be nice to uh, keep this streak going. You know, it started with 20 bucks. I cashed out 200 and you know i'm trying my hardest to just keep what i have in online online and see if i can make another hundred to, to make another withdrawal you know and we are approaching that bubble mark there's only 13 players left i'm now in fourth today is november 15 2024 and i did my first um, deposit on the 12th of november i withdrew on the 14th two days later for 200 and i kept 20 dollars inside and my plan is to make at least $22 so I could register to the November 17th tournament, which is $22. And it guarantees $2,000. So that's going to be a good one. It's looking good. It's looking real good. I might make the final table. I might make some more money. And if that's the case, I might as well just make the real life journey from zero to a million. Brought to you by Club Poker 805, G Poker 805. And I'm out here in the 805, um, Santa Barbara, California. And as soon as I get at least to maybe 2,500, um, I plan to challenge some of these YouTube creators to a, you know, poker game, a home game. And, you know, everybody buy in for maybe 1,000 or 500 and winner take all. That would be interesting. See if I could get a couple players to come over. Until then, let's get back to this uh, session real quick. So we're down four-handed. There's two tables left. Board is three, queen, four. I have the queen, jack, offsuit. And I make a continuation bet. Um, the guy next to me on my left calls it. So I decided to shove it on the seven of spade turn. Um, it does bring a flush draw, but I wasn't scared. And as you can see there, there's nine players left. I'm in fifth place and they only play top six. And I'm happy, you know, like I only had, what, 250 left in my account. So, so this one is definitely going to allow me to play more tournaments. And if I have enough to play the $22 tournament for Sunday... Um, that's the plan, you know, I plan on taking that $2,000 on Sunday and streaming it or just recording it. Um, I still don't know, but that's the plan. And for the meantime, let's just enjoy the rest of the video. What's the next? Oh, there it is. We're in the money. Is it two, four, there's six of us. Nice, we're in the money. We're in the money, baby. Positions, baby. First place. Ooh, I had a queen. A king? There it is. Nice. I'm in first. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He's still alive. He's not even playing. He already gave up and he's still in it. There it is. Wow, he made a pay jump. <laughs> he's not even playing and he made a pay jump. Wow. All I gotta do is wait for him to lose, Mr. Mike. Yeah, 1591. Just one more hand, baby. One more hand. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Speaking of just one more hand. All right. Oh, he took it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hi -ya. Nice. Taking it down. Only three of us left. All right. And again, this tournament cost me $2, so I'm pretty happy with the results so far. If I get first place, I'll be extremely happy. And uh, we'll find out what that prize is. Ah, yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, he's either trying to buy it. There's 40000 Another 100 Shoot. Ah, yeah, yeah. It could be the same situation like last time. Can I make a fold? And see a couple more hands, maybe? Actually, I'm going to call it. I think he has to do it with any two cards at this point. I think I have to call it. Oh, he called it too. Shit. Check it down, Henry. Ace Jack. Ace Jack 10. Ace Jack 10. Ace Jack 10. Jack. No fucking 10. No 10? What happened? Nice. Take him down. Almost folded. All right. Let's get first place, baby. Heads up. Let's get it. I think I pushed the wrong button on that one. My bad, guys. I was going to call it to see a flop. Oh, this guy's tripping. He wants to play that game, does he? All right. All right, let's play that game. Let's play that game, then. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play that game. What the fuck? Eventually, I'm going to have to call that. All right. He didn't get two out of hand. All right, all right. Nice. I got to see a flop. Taking it down. I'm going to take him down. Shut up. My turn. Let's play that game, cabron. What? Ace is ahead. Diamond? Ah, oh, fuck. He has a higher diamond. I'm all in. I have to call him. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, fold it. Ah, oh, I gotta call you. I got Jack High. And a seven. Oh, shit, he had trans. What the fuck? You cheater. All right, 18.99, second place. Uh, let's see what first place would have got. Uh, so it's already finished. Completed. This was, I believe it was this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I'm right there. First place got 32. That's nice. And it cost $2. Um, as you can see right there. You can see right there, $2. Uh, first place got 32. I got $18.99. Second place. And again, these are micro stakes. But there it is. I got money back in there. Finally, now I can play another $20 tournament and see how that goes. All right, good shit, everyone. All right, it's a new one.
two or like a two ball. That's good. Nice. Come on, I'm excited. I just won that. Um it's like 9 39 p.m. right now. Um, I've registered this tournament. It's going to happen on November 17 at 6 p.m. Um, 2000 guaranteed with the money I just made with this tournament. So hopefully I can make some money off that. That what was it, $2 into 20. And I'm going to put those 20 into, into this tournament. I'll let you see what it looks like.